A New Film by Paranjit. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage, I have reviewed more than 400 Indian movies on the channel and today I want to talk about the Tamil language romantic musical drama Nachatiram Nagagiratu or A Star Shoots Across the Sky. It had its theatrical release at the end of August and is now available on Netflix. It's the newest film written and directed by Paranjit, not just one of the most exciting Indian filmmakers working right now but also a strong advocate for social justice. We have already reviewed three of his other films on the channel. Madras, Kala and last year's Sapata Parambarai. I think it's safe to say that Najat Hiram Nagagiratu is easily his most daring and probably also his most impetuous one yet. It's a true Paranjit film as in that it's shining a light on this very diverse ensemble of characters who are mostly coming from the outskirts of society. Or rather that society is more often than not trying to push them to the outskirts. People from the Dalit caste, a trans woman and other members of the LGBTQ community. It's a true Paranjit film and that it features a very strong social message. But this time so front and center that it might still be regarded as a departure from its previous work. Also in terms of filmmaking. Maybe it's not a departure but a next step in his career. Najat Hiram Nagagiratu is a very wild, out of the box, maybe even downright bonkers film. It's certainly quite artsy and it wants to confront the audience with different ideas and approaches to its main theme, which is love. It's all about love. Love and how it's dealt with in society, how certain constraints, customs and traditions affect it. Caste relations, honor killings, patriarchal structures and so on. At its center is a young theater group who is working on a stage play about all these things surrounding and affecting love. It's not only a way to express their feelings and thoughts about this topic, but also a way to learn more about themselves. Maybe an opportunity to grow and get a new perspective. Because art is a wonderful way to do that. Through the stage play in the movie and on another layer through the movie itself. Nachat Hiram Nagagiratu feels like a big, almost three hour long unbound, free flowing, free associating thought process in which Paranjit lays everything on the table he thinks important. In one aspect it might even be understood as a criticism of another movie. At least I can't help but think about the rather toxic character of Arjun Redi from the Telugu movie by the same name from five years ago, when Paranjit presents us with a character by the same name in his film. Arjun played by Kalayara San is kind of the protagonist in this ensemble piece. Someone from a higher caste who comes with a very narrow and harmful mindset to this theatre group. So much so that I was really wondering why they didn't kick him out pretty early on. But this is of course also kind of the point that the movie tries to make. That we need to engage with people like him. That he comes from a very backwards and powerful background but that he has the chance to change his ways. It's a good message and it's certainly not the only thing interesting about this very different kind of film. But I have to be honest with you, I'm also rather conflicted and I don't really know how to feel about it. There are moments in this, montages, expressions of love and life that are absolutely beautiful. And the wild filmmaking that's part documentary like and part very artificial and heightened kind of fits this youthful and tumultuous energy and vibe. Which is also why it doesn't really bother me too much that the movie feels kind of all over the place. But what bothered me is that I had a rather hard time fully believing and investing in the reality of the film. Too often it felt like a lecture about love and tolerance and while the characters are vibrant and interesting, oftentimes it seems to be like they are really just there to give the right keywords or represent a certain aspect in a debate. I thought several scenes, like how they are coming up with ideas for their play, are a bit too unnatural. The dialogue, direction and performances really vary in quality. There's for example this whole sequence in which Arjun, who usually doesn't drink, decides to drink because he had a stupid argument with his maybe future wife. And it's so obvious that he will get drunk immediately and do something stupid. It just felt very cliched. There's also this very late introduction of a villain that I don't really know how to feel about. It felt like a very different type of movie to me, even though I'm not sure if this clash isn't kind of interesting nevertheless. But it was also really over the top. 
It does lead to some of the most intense and downright terror inducing segments though, with some super powerful imagery. That guy surrounded by all these chairs and then our characters. There's really something about it. How he personifies the power and evil of society. Still, it's all a bit of a hodgepodge and I don't think the movie succeeds in really exploring the central characters enough. I liked how it shifts between past and present, showing us different stages in a relationship and how the people in it change. But it also lacks some focus and never felt that real to me. So in German I'd say, Ich wünschte, ich könnte Paranjits Natchatila Nagagilatu mehr lieben. Ich schätze es wirklich, solch einen ungewöhnlichen, kunstvollen, sich wild entfaltenden Film über Liebe zu sehen, kann aber doch nicht abstreiten, dass vieles zu forciert und unbeholfen daherkommt. I give Natchatila Nagagilatu 6 out of 10. It's more like 6.3, but I don't do that. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Nachatiram Nagagiratu. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.